Look at this picture. Where is this? This is Mount Fuji in Japan, one of my favorite places. How would you describe it? Now, lots of my students struggle when describing big things, small things, exciting things, boring things. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to describe things better. So, where do you live? I live in Japan, and here are some of my favorite things in Japan. My favorite place is Mount Fuji. My favorite food is chicken katsu curry. And my favorite person is Sayaka Yamamoto. I want you to pause the video and write down your three favorite things about your country. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite place? And who's your favorite person? Pause the video and write it down now. Did you write down your favorite things? Great. Now let's talk about why. Why do you like these things? So Mount Fuji, I like Mount Fuji because it's big. I like chicken katsu curry because it's tasty. And I like Sayaka because she's pretty. These are what we call regular adjectives. Regular adjectives, they're fine, they're okay. But remember, these are my favorite things. I really love these things. So how can we be more descriptive? Let's use some extreme adjectives. So big, what would the extreme adjective be of big? We have big here. What would be an extreme adjective? We could maybe use huge. I like Mount Fuji because it's huge. Tasty. What would an, a better extreme adjective be here? I like chicken katsu curry because it's delicious. And pretty. Again, maybe pretty is a regular adjective. What would an extreme adjective be? Maybe. I like Sayaka because she's gorgeous. Extreme adjectives are a great way to show your passion for things in English. So to give you a picture, you might say, ah, it's big. It's very big. Then we can start to use our extreme adjectives. It's huge. It's big. It's very big. It's huge. Can we say big? Very big, huge, very huge? No, we can't. This is quite a big mistake that some of my students make. We would say big, very big, huge. Absolutely huge. So with our extreme adjectives, we don't use very. We would use absolutely. Big, very big, huge, absolutely huge. So when you're talking about your favorite things, you could have a sentence like, I like Mount Fuji because it's absolutely huge. I like chicken katsu curry because it's absolutely delicious. And again, a big mistake that I hear all the time is people saying, oh, I like this because it's 
very delicious. We wouldn't use very with an extreme adjective. That's a mistake. And of course, I like Sayaka because she's absolutely gorgeous. If you use extreme adjectives when you talk about things you love, you'll sound like a much better English speaker and people will just generally be more interested in what you have to say. If you want to learn more about extreme adjectives, then please visit our website. We have a worksheet and there's a quiz on there as well. And I have one final question for you. What's your favourite movie and why? Please leave a comment and we will correct your English for you. If you enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe and you can watch plenty more English lessons for free. Thanks for watching.